Square roots, those are a piece of cake. You already know how to do those. What's the square root of 64? Eight. What's the square root of 49? Seven. What's the square root of 100? 10. You already know your perfect square roots. But what happens when you get the square root of 48 or the square root of 99? What are you supposed to do in that situation? That is when you need to simplify a radical. You're not necessarily going to be able to break it down to a nice, neat, even number, but we can simplify it, and I'm going to show you how right now. Step one. You're going to want to list out all of your perfect squares. 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100. These are all those nice, neat, perfect squares that we know all about. Okay? We now need to ask ourselves, are any of these factors of the number inside the radical? So right now we're dealing with 48. I need to ask myself, I can stop at 49. We obviously know that anything above 49 is not going to be a, a factor of 48. So what of these values, if any, can I use as a factor of 48? And I look at that and I say 16. Right away, 16 stands out to me because I know that 16 times 3 gives me 48. What I need to do is put a square root around each one of those. Square root of 16 times the square root of three, that is gonna be equivalent to the square root of 48. So now, which one of these can I actually simplify? And that's the one that's a perfect square. That's why we use this list. The square root of 16 is four times the square root of three. So what we finish with is four root Three, and we now have a simplified radical. Let's go over to 99. Step one, ask yourself, do any of these perfect square values work as a factor of 99? First one that stands out to me, and it seems like an obvious one, is nine. So I'm gonna go right here and right here, and I'm gonna say the square root of nine times Nine times what equals 99? You know that. That's an 11. So we're going to put an 11 right there. Out of these two, only one of them can be simplified into a whole number, and that's the perfect square. The square root of 9 is 3. So our final result is 3 root 11. We have taken each of these radicals and simplified them as far as we can go. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, study hard, and good luck on your upcoming test.